Hello, so we are back, and this time, this time we have a problem. Remember this laptop from yesterday? So we tested, uh, we seen the picture, everything seems to be fine, right? Remember we tested the, we tested the laptop with our fans, you remember? So uh, let's go on BIOS, yeah? Yeah, I did try a new BIOS, this is one BIOS without serials, you're right. Uh, check, check, check what is happening, yeah? I tested without, without fans, but you can hear the fans are coming with like full speed. You can, you can hear the fans are like full speed. And the laptop is shutting down. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's off. Now, even if I'm trying with, uh, with a hard drive with Windows here, yeah, let's plug the hard drive. Let's power on the laptop. Loading the windows. Yeah, loading the windows. Let's wait. Yeah, the fans are start spinning very fast. The windows is loaded. Yeah, you can see the windows there. Fans are the full speed. Are spinning at full speed. Wait, wait, wait. And the laptop shut down. No, it's not a battery. I can plug the charger, same thing, it will happen. So what is the problem? Because you see, everything is fine when everything is working fine, like how it's supposed to work. I mean, we replace with a good EC chip, we tested, we programmed the EC chip. We programmed the EC chip with a brand new firmware from the Lenovo website, yeah? The EC firmware was extracted from there, so everything seems to be fine. The BIOS doesn't have serials because uh, I program another BIOS, a brand new BIOS, same from the Lenovo website. The original BIOS had a, had a password on it. Anyway, everything is brand new, but the laptop is not working. And you see, when someone is working on a laptop, like on this one, yeah, the customer, which is a computer shop, tried to fix it, you remember, soldered the LDO chip. Uh, you are not sure for what you should look for. Yeah, you should look for what the customer work on the laptop. You should look for some, I don't know, by mistake, by, you know, because it can happen by mistakes. Like, okay, my, my screwdriver is slipping and I'm knocking a component from the motherboard, which probably I will never find it. For what I should look for? Should I look for my EC chip, which is faulty? Huh? Should I look for another uh, Novo Legion firmware? I mean, this is quite a new one. The, the, the GPU is like RTX 3060. So this is a decent uh, gaming laptop. So, uh, yeah, that's the problem. Yesterday, I didn't uh, spot the fault. So we tested, you remember, we replaced the EC chip, we tested, the laptop come on, everything was fine. The fan, the fans, was not plugged in. Because if I will hear the fans, I will know something is wrong. And we tested and we seen the laptop shutting down, but obviously it was no bootable, no boot device there, so that feel kind of normal. But yeah, this laptop is not ready to be sent to the customer, yeah? So what I'm going to do, I do have another EC chip. I will replace it another AC chip, I will replace it with a different firmware, yeah? This time, because I have a guy which comes with a second opinion saying, actually you have an AC chip, 256 kilo, yeah? But the firmware is 192. So uh, we're going to replace the, I will show you the AC chip, yeah? So if you order an AC chip, I will show you from where I order. If the chip is good, I will show you. They send me the AC chip. So that's how the AC chip came from China, yeah? Check here. They cut the board, they don't, they, they, they don't even bother to desolder the EC chip. <laughs> can, can you believe that? That's crazy. So we have another EC chip here, yeah? So we're going to desolder this EC chip, program this EC chip with uh, 192 kilo firmware, solder the EC chip back on the board and see if that it will fix the problem, because otherwise I have no idea. So this is the last thing what I will try on this motherboard. I did check the motherboard, I spent some time, I checked the motherboard under the microscope, everything seems to be fine. And you know how the laptop is behaving, exactly like you take the heatsink, 
and you pour on the laptop. And you should see the fans start spinning fast, 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 and it's shutting down. But it's not it's not an overheating issue. Yeah, like big heat sinks. Yeah, we have thermal paste. That cannot happen. Cannot happen with the laptop doing nothing. Yeah, we're just pressing the power button. So yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Let's first disorder this one and program. I mean, why they are doing something like that? It's just like, you know, to show us actually they didn't touch the chip and they could not burn the chip by disoldering? Or why they do it? Or just because it's cheaper to cut it instead of, instead of disoldering? Hmm? I'm curious about your opinion about this. Let's lower the temperature to 360 degrees. And let's remove the easy chip. Okay, so the chip is removed. The chip is looking good. Yeah, it's looking like brand new, like brand new from China, right? Let me grab the programmer. Okay, let's put the chip here. I'm curious if the chip is good. So the chip is here. Good. Now let's see. IT, 3 volts should be fine. Uh, select the motherboard. Pin check, okay. Wow. Wow. Read ID. The chip is good. That's sick. That's crazy. Buying a good chip from China. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And now we are writing the EC chip. Yeah. Start writing and that's good. No errors, no problems. Let's see, because you know what? Maybe I'm losing, I'm losing time. It's okay, that's fine. But it's about, you know, just uploading the video and you can see this so you know next time how to do it. And that, that's, that's something which makes me feel, feel good. Okay, everything looks fine. Still writing. Verifying. Perfect. Verify. Okay. So all what we have to do is to solder the chip back. Mm -hmm. So we're going to desolder the old one and solder this one. The seller. I'll show you the seller. You know what? Just because the chip was good. Yeah. Let's, you know, let me show you the seller. So I bought the chip from here. Here. Yo, actually, it's showing in the picture. Actually, it's coming on the, on a piece of the of board. You can see it's coming soldered on the board. <laughs> yeah, so those people, I don't know what shop is this. 95% uh, positive feedback. But anyway, the chip was only like $8.31, and uh, it's good. That's what is important. Good? Good. Lol, actually one sold. So probably I'm the only one who bought uh, the chip from here. <laughs> All good. Let's solder the easy chip. Actually, let's take out the old easy chip and solder the new one. I still don't understand what kind of board is this. I mean, check this edge. I'm not sure if you can see it. What is that edge? Because I never seen that kind of edge on like any motherboard. Or yeah, looks like a RAM slot, right? Yeah, probably. Good. Perfect. You know what? Let me take the motherboard out. Actually, let me get rid of the faulty chips. I mean, this is faulty. So this is burned. Look, I have here another one burned. Yeah, those are shorted. So this one is good. Let's not uh, don't mix them, yeah? Let me take the board out. I will quickly edit the video. Good, so the board is out. Let me use again Captain tape. Good. 
By the way, I've read the comments from the video and someone said, uh, sorry, uh, there are two pins touching together. And yeah, pin number 80, if I remember. Yeah, but actually are not touching. You can see them. Yeah, yeah, here. Actually, the pins are not touching. Good, good. Okay, let's take the chip out. Look, look, look at the chip because after I cleaned the board, it's looking like a brand new. Check that, it's like soldered by factory. <laughs> okay, so the old chip it's out. Perfect. Now the new one. The new one. Just a little bit of flux. Yeah, a little bit. Not too much because it's expensive. Perfect. And now let's, let's solder this chip back. Let me be sure it's straight. And you can come straight with the hot air. You know what? Whatever. It doesn't even matter. Let's solder the chip. It's not even important because we're gonna match the pins after uh, the solder is melted. Actually, it's perfect. Nearly perfect. Yeah, looks perfect. Let's be sure it's soldered properly. And for me, it looks like it's soldered. Huh? Looks like brand new. Perfect. Now we can use uh, the heat, the thermal pad, to cool down the chip, and I think we are ready for testing. Checking the pins if they are soldered properly. No, we are not doing something like that here. No, no, no. It's kind of you know, it's rude. You don't think that every pin is soldered properly? Huh. No, no, we are not doing this on, on this channel, no. Come on, you, you, you must have faith, you know what I mean? You, you should trust your skills. <laughs> that never happen when it's above me. Perfect. We can take those things out. Because we are 100% sure it will work, right? Yeah, must be. Good, let me bring the laptop. Perfect, everything is on place. Let's plug the battery. Good, now let's press the power button. Pressing the power button and the laptop, it is coming on, you can see. Huh? If it's, of course it's working, you know, the level of confidence on this YouTube channel, it's over the sky, you know what I mean? Let's see, let's see, at least it's coming on, <laughs> so the firmware is, looks like it's working, yeah. The fans are not spinning, which I don't know if it's good or not. Or not. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, we have to press the power button again, yeah, yeah, we have to press the power button again. It's working, we have picture, I mean, yeah, we have picture before. But it's all about the fans, yeah? 
and the fans are spinning at full speed. Yeah, that sucks. And it will shut down. That's crazy. And we replace the AC chip. Why? Why? I mean, we use a different firmware and we use a different AC chip. Yeah? Yeah, it's coming on. Loading the windows. You see the fans start spinning very fast. Like they are like full speed there. Then it's shutting down. means the old DC chip is good, right? The old firmware also is good. Hmm. You see, this is the point where uh, I will speak with the customer and I will stop trying to repair this. I mean, this kind of fault is on the next level, yeah? Most likely cost fault or a faulty chipset or CPU. But either way, I cannot move forward with this repair because there's not much what I can check. Yeah, it feels bad. I mean, we replaced so many easy chips on this one and still nothing dead. RAM memory, I did try another RAM memory. I did uh, have a look at the CPU and the GPU under the microscope, clean them, check, everything seems to be fine. I looked for missing components, I can't see any missing components, but obviously can be like... I don't know, usually on the laptop they're around the screws, like here, like here, well, I can't see anything. I'm really sorry, but I will take this uh, repair back. Like I said on the last video, I helped the customer and I fixed the laptop. No, I didn't fix it and I didn't help the customer. I wish, but you see, there is a limit, especially when it's about time. I really spent a few hours on this laptop and I can't, I can't go forward having nothing. Yeah, Like I have no clue about what happened here. Okay, so what the customer is saying on the email is saying that the laptop died after an M2 drive replacement. And that says a lot because every every data track from the, the solid state from the M2 is going to the chipset. So from that point, the laptop died. Hmm. Yeah, it feels bad. Yeah, you can't win all every time. And it's not only my word, it's my word, and I have, you know, I have a few people, I'm, you know, they are doing firmware and BIOS, you know, which they know they are good, they are, know they are tested. And, uh, yeah, it looks like, like one man show, but it's not. It's never one man show when it's about uh, EC and BIOS. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I'll say thank you for watching, you know, just, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video, of course, and see you on the next one. Bye.